In today's video, boys, I played up in BFB Coliseum boost only, and I played three games versus an actually pretty good player. This guy was ranked 41 in the world, and he actually wasn't that bad. He, he went pretty hard on me. So definitely watch till the end on today's video to find out both like how to play on certain maps and with certain strategies, but also just to, you know, see if he managed to beat me or if I managed to beat him. Before I get into all that, though, do me a favor, boys. Go down, like the smash button, and hit the subscribe button as well. I would really appreciate it, but let's get right into it. All right, first opponent, boys, and this is the part of the video where I actually don't know what I'm going to be playing, uh, except I'm just going to be playing some regular boost only, of course, but I don't know which strategy I'm going. But of course, the intro will be filmed after this. So right now, I don't know how the intro goes. I might go like some random super monkey strategy, and it'll be like, oh, today I went super monkey, and I, you guys won't really know. But uh, yeah, we will we will see. Treasure hunt definitely not not gonna be playing that. Let's see. Okay, Riverside. Okay, R Riverside actually is decent. This is a boat strat. I don't know how many of you guys know this. You probably do. It's a pretty popular one. But Buccaneer Mortar Farm is pretty much meta for Riverside. Uh, Riverside is also one of those maps that you know it's it's just gonna go late game. It's very difficult not to go late game. I will try and be kind of aggressive regardless. It is better to be passive, which kind of annoys me, if I'm being honest. Uh, because somebody can play fully passive, and if they do it correctly, they're going to be better off than you. But you can also try and play semi-acro to kind of counter their passiveness. So, like, you go a little acro, but then you under-defend, so you force them to, like, rush you back. And if they don't, then, oh, oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and send, like, yeah, like a bunch of these. Wait just a little bit, and go for that. Alright. There we go, and that should be good. So, we leaked a little bit. Leaked a bit more than him. He might actually leak a little bit just to this. Actually, I don't know. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, yeah, okay, so he's gonna end up leaking quite a bit here. And we're not going to upgrade either, so we're fine. 106, we can actually go for the upgrade if we want to. He, of course, can as well. Yeah, he can go for it now, but it doesn't make a difference because he's not going to get any extra bananas uh, from that until the next round. Because he's already got the max amount, if you can say it like that. So here we go. We'll put this on close, and then we will go directly for this. And then we'll just send him a bunch of pink balloons. Nothing too crazy. We don't even need to send too many. We can continue sending a couple. Just to, uh, just to, uh, see. But, yeah. Alright, 276 here. Let's see. Do I want to keep sending? Uh, like, if we can get him to slowly just leak lives, that would be good. This is also what I mean by playing, like, passive-aggressive. So, like, I'll still kind of be playing a little passive. Like, but like in, in the terms of like, I'm still farming, but I'm also playing slightly aggro. Because you can see right now, he's just slowly losing lives. Nothing crazy, but just like slowly. Alright, let's go for faster shooting here. And yeah, we'll just send a bunch of black balloons. Okay, so he sent that just to force the upgrade. Fair enough. He will lose a couple lives from this. So like, he does need to... I, he, he, I mean, he's defending correctly. He's defending 100% correct. He will get to get the plantation up slightly quicker, though. So he is playing 100% just passive. But here we go. Now I get the plantation as well. And I will get a little bit of extra from it. Plus, I have higher eco than him. So that's also very good. This is where I kind of get to copy him. Like, I can also greed slightly here if I really want to. And then we can just kind of wait. So, like, here we can see if he tries to rush me, I'll go for a Buccaneer. Uh, which he does, okay. I'll see how much he's gonna try and rush me. Okay, go for that. And then I just go ahead and counter. And we will see if he is going to boost. He is. There we go. So this is beautiful. So basically what I did right here is I follow up with everything he does. I under defend... Meaning he is kind of forced to go ahead and force something on my side. And when he's forced to do that and he forces a boost out of me, I can counter because he needed to sell and under defend in order to do that. So I just boost and then I counter. 
Oh, why did I just do this? That might have not been good. See, now he's just gone full, full aggressive. Uh, I think I will be okay here. Alright, he tried his very best. Fair game. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and... Then we're gonna go ahead and boost at him. Come on, please, please, please. And we should force a boost here easily. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and have this on strong and get ready for a counter. Because now you can kind of see, like, he's not really gonna be able to do all that much. He can't even boost his at me, I don't think. Let's go ahead and put this on first. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now we just wait a little bit. And then we go straight for Republic. And we can probably still get a BIA up, I would say. Uh, let's see, we can... We might be able to go for like around 15 BIA. Oh, okay. Let's uh, have this here. So see, now he's just trying to be as aggressive as possible here. Now he's doing his very, very best. Uh, I should be fine, I think. Nice. We do force a boost here on him as well, which is lovely. Love to see it. And yeah, this is going to be a factory game for sure. So that is going to be all good. Let's see. We'll just go for another Republic here, I think. There we go. And then we can kind of sell these whenever. But yeah, let's uh, keep this up like so and see if uh, there's going to be anything. Because now we're going to have some nice rushing opportunities. And we will see if we can... Bam, do anything about that. We'll go for this right here and... Then take care of the leads, and we should just be all good. Nice. All right, now we go for this, and then we wait, and then we go for the factory. So we kind of went from him playing completely passive into him being extremely aggressive, trying to overcompensate. And now I just kind of end off, like, on top, and it's just way better for me. Uh, so, yeah, let's see here. Round 20, I think we can go for the factory. We could actually go for it now, but... I do want to be a little bit careful because I think he would try and make me sell. But we'll see. I'll go for this and we'll see if he sends me a BFB. If he does, I can always just go ahead and upgrade. Let's see. I will definitely just sell both of these and upgrade immediately if he tries to send me one. Or at least I'll sell one of these. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Send a bunch of these. Okay, he goes for that. I don't know if he's good to that or if he needs to, like, boost or anything. We are setting a lot of stuff up here. Is he all right? Uh, okay, he actually did end up leaking a little bit. That's crazy. We're still out farming, though, so that is pretty good. And I would say we're, we're doing fairly good, yeah. I think our eco is actually probably close to the same because he sent me a lot of rushes, but... My farms are slightly better. Now he's even trying to hide how much money he's getting. Not that it really matters, but yeah. Alright, let's uh, yeah, just wait and have this up. Wait until we go for the full upgrade. Let's go for another destroyer here. Alright, let's go for that and should be alright. And he spikes, and he actually ends up dying because he underestimated the rush. So we will definitely take that. That was a beautiful win. Don't know if this guy wants to play again. He's global 41, perhaps. Unless he's grinding. He could be grinding. Okay, he actually wants to play again. Let's go. Ooh, we get offside. Dude, there's so many good strategies on offside to use. I think uh, if I was on right side, I would go, to, go with wizard. But I think dart farm ace is going to be... Is going to be preferable to play here. Let's see if he'll do the same. He could go Cobra. But I really like DFA on offside. Back to the classics, baby. Back to the roots. Alright. DFA is something I've played a lot. Especially on this map. 
There are various ways to play it. If he starts anti-stalling, we can go for this. We can also, like, you can also play NG. I mean, there's a bunch of different strats. You can also play Heli Ice on this map. There's so much stuff you can do. But, yeah, let's go ahead and just spike here. Go straight for this. He might actually be going Dard. Would be crazy if he does. I am rusty with my DFA, I'd say. Oh, let's go. We get a DFA game. I haven't had a DFA game in so long. That's that's beautiful, bro. DFA on offside is just beautiful. I even get the left side, which is my preferred side. So, I shouldn't really have any excuses. I have to win this. Alright, so of course, you want to eco. I still remember the eco numbers. You want to go to like 279. And you just want to eco as much as possible. You want this on last right here. And then we want this like up here. There we go, and then we just want to continue ecoing until we hit 279, and we want to hit it before 106, before this eco boost. And then we can actually just go ahead and send, like, a bunch of these. And then there's multiple things we can do. I'm going to go to 289. Uh, you can also go to 30, uh, 306, actually. So if you kept on sending until you hit 306 eco, you would be good, and then you could go for the farm at 142. But now we can go for it at 136. This also means that once we go into round 6, we're going to be able to send more stuff. So here I'm going to target my dart to first. Back on last. Go directly for the upgrade. He's going to do the same. And this was on first. It was actually meant to be on last. So I'm targeting my darts wrong. But that's on me. Uh, let's just go directly for this. Because we're not going to go for the farm. Ooh. That is bad. Okay. Let's just send a bunch of stuff here. Here we go, send a few of these up behind. Really gotta like try and make him chase right now, because if he plays fully passive, I just eco and match it. So playing fully passive here is really not gonna work very, very uh, well. Here we send like four of these. I keep this on last, both of these. And then we get to send this right here. Ooh, now I have to be, actually now I have to respond. Let's have this on first. Let's help clean up. Okay, he's playing well. Let's put both on first. Okay, he actually sold that. That's crazy. If he goes for the farm upgrade here, that is going to be risky. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Just force the spolt on him. There we go. And now we can go for the farm as well. And yeah, he's of course going to have a little more, but we have more eco, so... I am pretty happy with our current position. And even here, by the way, we can go ahead and send even more. Just to make sure he doesn't greed. Make sure he goes for that second spolt. Or he can go for that as well. That works too. We don't even need to go for the plantation. We can just kind of wait and do this. Maybe he dies. I don't know. He's got he's down to like six lives. Yeah, I would probably spike too if I were him. Okay, guess I'll just have this on first. Doesn't really make sense to do. Okay, he's trying to be toxic here. Alright, let's go ahead and send this. And then continue sending a little bit of just stuff here. See if we get anything past. Might. Again, our eco is great here. He has his farm advantage, sure. But we have really, really nice eco. Let's go ahead and have this on that. Okay, let's go for that. So since he's just trying to farm here, he's not even forcing this right here. Oh, there he did. Okay, I'm just going to boost since he bloom boosted it. That is fine by me. And then we go for this. And then we see what he does. Okay, both are good. I can always go for another one down here. We can also go for one up here if we really need to. We clutch. We're good though. Let's go ahead and sell that. Continue going for the farm. And now his BIA is kind of denied. So this is not very good for him. Let's go for this right here. And we can honestly just continue farming. Don't know what he's going to do or how he's going to do it. We'll see. Okay, he tries to go for that. Interesting. I'm going to try and force a boost here if I can. 
I know he's not sending me anything, and then we're gonna follow up with a... Yeah, he's just gonna die to that, I think. But, yeah, okay. So, the problem is, he went for the farm. He has to boost that, because he doesn't really have a lot of defense. And it, I'll rematch him, sure. But if he didn't boost that... Um, or, uh, sorry, if he doesn't boost that, he dies. But he would need to boost it, and when he boosted, I can just counter with a balloon boost. This is also why, if I balloon boosted that, he would have defended... And I couldn't really send an effective counter rush. So it would have been pretty bad. Swamp, I'm down for Swamp. There's a bunch of nice strats. I would probably go with this bomb strategy here. I think it's probably for the best. Yeah. I think this is the best to use on Swamp. 100%. So let's see what kind of magic we can make happen. Of course, I think we will put this down here. And then we'll have this up here. And he's actually going to start off with a wizard. Okay. We will just fully anti-stall with this. And I think what we'll do is we will go ahead and focus on mainly being aggressive here. So again, we're going to go ahead and just send him a bunch of space balloons. Is he going to... Okay, seems like he's actually going to be ecoing. If that's the case, honestly, fair... Yeah, I can't really say too much about it. Fair game. Mm, yeah, we probably don't want to go for that. We want to wait a little bit. Oh, come on. Thank you. Alright, let's go directly for that. And then just wait. Until we can go for this. And of course, here we can go for the bomb, which is good. I mean, we're ecoing, but it's good that we can go for the bomb. But now I just don't want to chase too much. So I will definitely have to have this over here. Like, so I don't think we're chasing to this quite yet. I think we're good. Uh, actually, we're starting to chase a little. Let's go ahead and just have this on like close, I think. Yeah, that should be should be good. Alright, not really going to bother doing anything here. He does send some weird blooms. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and just send him a bunch of these now. So, he is kind of anti-stalling himself, but we're also anti-stalling, which is good because we're going farm. Only problem here is I haven't gotten my farm up in a while. Okay, he's going farm too. That is really weird. I don't know why he would play like that and just fully anti-stall with a wizard. That really makes no sense to me, but sure. Why would you not at least go for the farm first or like do something? Maybe he expected me to play like this, but he actually went for the wizard first, I believe. All right, let's go ahead and again, we just want to be like very aggressive here. So the more aggressive we can be, the better. He's going to spike. That's fine. We're just going to go ahead and do this. And again, he spikes. Cool. Uses his last spike. Going for those. Fair enough. I mean, you're going to lose quite a few lives there, buddy. Goes for another wizard. Okay, interesting. Here, I will definitely go for the cluster whenever I need it. Alright, he goes for a farm too. Yeah, I can't really send too much here. We can definitely rush him around 12, though, so we can just go straight for the plant. And then we'll see. We will definitely need to get up a depleted plutonium. Alright, let's go ahead and just have this ready. I can't boost this, so we have to be a little careful here, obviously. Okay, he stopped sending, but he tried to send a bad rush. Like, I certainly wouldn't do that if I were him. And here he actually almost just dies. Let's see if we can go ahead and send some more. Unless, does he, did he get camo on both? I think he did, yeah. Alright, well done. And once again here, he doesn't really have a lot of money. He's going to struggle quite a bit to, like, any sorts of big rushes. Um, so I would definitely say we can force... A rush pretty easily from him. He also doesn't have a spike, so... 
we can just kind of kind of just send one of these Let's see yep there we go and we end up forcing some defense lovely i'll just continue farming right now i think that's uh, gonna be the way forward here we go let's do this i might have to boost that actually i don't know if i had to did he sell a farm i think he actually did Okay, that's crazy. We're still good, though. So, that is fine by me. Alright, not letting him win here. He did try and send a really big follow-up rush. Really didn't do much, but... Fair game. Let's go ahead and do this. And of course, we do want to boost it. I forgot when I sent it, so I'm just going to go ahead and just use the boost. Let's also get a little bit of eco up behind as well. All right, he does use a boost. Now we just need to wait until we can send him a BFB, and he does sell a farm. Lovely. So now it's just going to basically be BFB time. All right, wonderful. So all we have to do here is just wait. And we're good. All right, so round 20 is happening right now. I don't think he defends a lot of BFBs here. Especially because I'm going to send multiple of them. I'm not just going to stop at the one. And there goes one. And here goes another. He'll have to boost that i think he is good with his ace micro but he has like no money that's like my whole point with this it's gonna be a, a big struggle for him okay so he does boost all right great is that gonna be enough though like is he good there i don't think so yeah he's just fully dead he doesn't have money to defend which is why we basically can just continue on rushing him like this but yeah, that is the global rank 41, now 42 player that we just matched up against in BFB Coliseum, boost only. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.